In this episode of this series of everything about slot machines, we're going to try to explain what exactly is a random number generator and clear up some of the misconceptions about what it is and what it is not. Some of you may have heard, or maybe you haven't, that slot machines don't actually use random number generators. They use pseudo random number generators. I think this word paints a very false image in a lot of people's heads about what it does. A lot of people think like it's random, but since it's pseudo random, since the machine is supposed to pay back like 90% of the money that it brings in, it's constantly adjusting itself to make sure it pays back that correct amount. That literally has absolutely nothing to do with the pseudo in pseudo RNG. In fact, the RNG chip has nothing to do with the slot machine at all. It's a completely different chip and it's not even unique to slot machines. Video games use random number generators to place enemies on the screen. If a website's gonna display a random picture when you visit, it would use RNG to do that. All that's happening is a slot says, hey chip, give me a random number. And the chip says, 145. Then the slot machine goes, 145. That's two bars and a cherry. That's literally it. So what does the pseudo in pseudo RNG mean? They classify RNG chips into two types, true random and pseudo random. True random is gonna have some kind of natural phenomenon that couldn't be predicted ahead of time. Like measuring static electricity on a chip. It's more or less gonna be completely random. These are used for things like encryption and bank documents because it makes it basically impossible for a hacker to predict what the RNG is gonna do. For a slot machine though, for the most part, nobody's hacking into the machines and all that really matters is that they appear unpredictable and without patterns. And a pseudo random number generator does just that. But they still aren't truly random, which might be counterintuitive and make no sense, but let me explain that. Quick side note though, I do have a video on how hackers exploited the random number generator to extract millions of dollars from slot machines. So what happens with an RNG chip is it gets fed in a first number called a seed, and then it uses a math formula to find the next number. Then it uses that answer to plug back in and find the next number. And then it does this over and over and over, thousands of times a second. And whenever something asks for a random number, whatever the answer is at that instant is what it gives out. What this means is that once the seed number is chosen, the sequence is predictable for the entire life of the chip. So it's not random, but it's using that sequence to become random. I'm gonna give you an example that'll help you visualize this, but instead of using a math formula, we're gonna use the digits of pi. Pi is really good because it doesn't repeat, and most numbers appear pretty much the same throughout, but really randomly. So we have pi, and we're gonna cycle through it really fast. Now I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm gonna hit stop. I got 78. Was that really random? I mean, I use pi. Pi isn't random. It's really, really predictable, actually. I mean, you can look at the sequence up on the internet. But even if I know what pi is, if I close my eyes and do that again, I'm probably not gonna get 78. I'll probably get it about once out of 100 times. No amount of rubbing the screen or pushing stop faster or any other wives tale is gonna make 78 come up any more often than one in 100. So is using pi in this way random or is it not? I mean, it mostly is, but it's also not. I mean, it's complicated. It's pseudo random. So don't get pseudo random mixed up with being rigged. But in the next video in the series, we're gonna talk about whether slot machines actually are rigged, and it's not super simple. And if you guys are actually liking this series, could you hit the like button for me? Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. For your next Vegas trip, get educated. Thanks for watching.